Hey there everyone, this is Raokao playing Legend of Zelda Second Quest and Erase in FDS version, should be saying Kill Mode. Alright, so last time we uh, went to Dungeon 1, it was all nice and good, we got died a few times. What do I want to do today? So now I feel like the adventure is starting for realsies. I think what I want to do first, before all else, is to buy a candle so I have the ability to burn some stuff. Like, I feel like that's going to be pretty relevant, because, like, I'm gonna want to explore and see if, like, the old secrets that I know, like, are still around, or, or, or not, right? And if not, then it's a way to get new secrets. And all that. So, uh, uh oh, oh. Careful. So, Zora looks we Oh, that's because it's the backside of Zora's head. It's pretty good. Also, bombs. I'm gonna need bombs if I want to do that. Well, I got enough money. Uh, you know what's another fun thing that could happen that we could do? Is to check out the location of the old, uh, uh, dungeons. Like, I know that... They're not, like, the actual dungeons are not gonna be there, you know, like, I ex I expect that. But finding out what they've been replaced with could be fun, like, could be nothing, it could be something, I don't know. And, uh, I wanna find- thank you for the bombs, actually. That's real cool, cause I need that, too. Yeah, so, lots of killing things. Uh, well, you know what, if you're gonna give me a bomb, I'm gonna go ahead and use it immediately. Like, this place here, where once upon a time, uh, was an important secret, now there's nothing. Okay, so, okay, this is good to know. Places where there used to be secrets could downright just not have an equivalent secret. That is exactly the type of knowledge that I wanted, uh, although the cost of discovery here was kind of big. I, I wanted to make sure, you know, but all right. So we are going to have to redo everything in terms of exploration. We're talking the possibility of bombing everything, burning everything. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to sort of picture the work involved, because I thought they would be reusing old spots, but now I'm thinking that that doesn't really track. They're probably... Yeah, repopulate a differently old spots instead. Man, alright, well, I got money. I got... Uh, I got enough money for a candle. I should get that candle. There's this piece of wood that we kind of like never go into. It's pretty good. There's a bear inside of an octopus that lives on land. It's pretty great. Ah, dude, dude. All right. Well, I remember seeing that one shop uh, near the start still had its old content. So, dang it. So we're gonna do that. While we're here, actually, you know, like I said, going to old places. The old potion shop. The potion shop I would always use in the first quest. Are you different in any way, shape, or sound? Okay, still old woman shop. So there are services that are just the same. It's not as different as it could have been. Uh, how about here? Huh, what do you have to say? Old woman lives here. Loading. Tombstone! Yes, I know. So, there's a, there's a tomb in the graveyard where in the first quest, not unlike, um, well, basically, it, like, there's a tombstone in the first quest that does not have any ghost in it, uh, but that you cannot slide. I'm going to assume that it's the one that you can slide in the second quest. And the one where the old man with magic sword used to live into now is just not gonna have a ghost. But otherwise not do anything. Alright, I have the ability of burning things. How gung-ho am I gonna be about burning things? I don't know. You know what? Castle 3 is easier to find. Let's go drop there real quick. Man, the wooden sword is not strong. 
When you get used to the better swords, it, it, it shows. Alright, so this is where Castle 3 would be. Wow, so the map looks completely different now. There is not a dungeon. There's just a store. This is, they closed out a dungeon and started the Starbucks there. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Is the empty lake still empty? I mean, this still exists as this. I don't know if blowing a whistle here would still do anything. Oh, this secret house still secrets, though. So yeah, some old places will still work. Wow, yeah, it's just, but, you know, you, you, you know. It's, it's just gonna be like, you know, some places are and some places won't. Free money! So you are identical. That's interesting. Hey! I think that's a new stairs. Free money! You're the hundo money for some reason. I don't know why. I could probably use a big shield. Gonna be real? Uh, I felt the lack of big shield. <laughs> <laughs> during dungeon one So this is the store next to the like the the fancy shop Let's check here real quick. So I could buy the big shield here and arrows Let's see what happened to uh, the fancy shop first eh. Dang it Didn't want to take damage there, but it was nullified Instantly. Still want you guys' money. I don't know why digging monsters have money on them, but you know, it's how the world is sometimes. Alright, so fancy shot. Be on fire. Or not. Alright, I'm not fighting you. Reading from desk! Wait. Wait. <laughs> it's level two. Alright. Alright. Reading from the- I'm- look, I'm gonna buy the big shield. It's- it's at a high cost, I'm aware. But I don't know where the mad- the, the fancy shop is, so uh, I'm just gonna buy it now, since it's close. And I have the money, and I guess we'll do level two! Uh, I did not expect to just find it today. Ironically, I was going to go towards, like, the location of old level two, and I- I don't know where that is. Well, as in, like, I, I kind of, look, the, the east part of the map, the east forest, it's a big tangle of stuff. It's kind of hard to find yourself in there. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. All right, hey. I mean, yeah, and I found one of the hundo money. So, paying off, I guess. No, yeah, it's not the most efficient use. It's fine. Oh yeah, I don't know where heart containers are gonna be now. Yeah, I'm going in. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going in with only four hearts. All right, well, let's see what happens. It's probably gonna be real hard. I don't know. Let's find out. It's green. There's walls. Okay, yeah. Give dough. With the blue, the, the blue sword. You know, like, I don't know if there's such a thing as fire weakness in the game. Alright, well, uh, Link versus the pile of HP. Very exciting adventure here we're gonna have. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Give those our high stats, but otherwise just kind of meander around. I guess we could blow one up. I don't know why mummies give bombs so much. I guess... I guess that's part of the mummification process. Here in Hyrule, they just stuff him with gunpowder. Ah, uh, alas. Like, I like y'all as just, like, globs of, uh, drops. But again, I don't have the white sword, so that ain't happening. Any secrets here? There is! That's how you get out! Alright. Let's do this log door! A room of oh, dark nut, alright. 
but yeah, it's again, it's just this just feels like what if level five, but you have what you'll have after only level one. Like that feels like the story that is being told here. Huh. Stab in the feet. It's pretty good. Ugh. Ugh. Stop it. Nope. Okay. Uh, backstab. That's right. Uh, Alright. Compass. We did it. Now I'm gonna start bombing around again. I, I kind of... You guys are back already, but I gained nothing. No, yeah, you will come back because I'm not killing you. I'm splitting you. Alright. Uh, this is just bats. There's already a drop on the ground. I have big shield. I can block. Okay, well, good time was had. Be merry. Yo! Yo, check it! Oh, is the mic not working? Ba 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 bow. So, okay, so, cause Paul voice. The gimmick on, like, I remember this. It's hard not to know this. You're supposed to, like, shout into a microphone. Again, I'm trying to get. But, uh, like, so, so, the Famicom had a microphone on, uh, controller, the second one. And the gimmick with the pole voice and their giant ears was that if you screamed in, in your microphone, they would, like, just die or something. And so, you know, uh, every Nintendo emulator out there and Famicom emulator and all that has, because of that, a microphone function, and I set it up, but, like, I didn't have a way to test it. I tried it here, and it did not do anything. Oh, boy. I might probably just die here. So, that's a bit of a butt. Yeah, like, I didn't have a way to test to see if it worked. Uh, I got my answer. It didn't. All right, let's see what's up here instead. Just to have a look. Yeah, more Gibdos, great. All right. Yeah, sometimes I just kind of like get stuck in a direction in my brain and like that's all where I go. Okay, uh, I want those. There we go, and I got those. While still remaining relatively safe. For some reason, I forgot if you could stun a Gibdo. But see, I prefer not to stun them and just kind of let them walk over to me where I can just stab them in the belly again and again. See, if you stun them, you have to approach them. That's just kind of vaguely more scary. They keep dropping bombs. I'm not bombing anywhere. Alright, another bat room. Alright, using all our creativity processes here to design these rooms. Look, I'm just saying, we just had this identical room. Go, yeah. I love having the big shield. It is a life changer. Ugh, buddy. There we go. No drops. Got it. Here is a corner. A manhandla, huh? Alright. Uh, you have a bomb. Uh-oh. Well, that's not... Okay! All right. All right, let's go back to this path. I have a lot of health, so that's gonna be good for the all singing, all dancing night room. This one. Because I do want to eliminate the whole room because that is prime pushing block pattern. I do have my beam, so I can drive around at night and feel safe. In theory, like, it might... This, this will not be long, this will not be efficient, but... I don't think there's an efficient way to do this, really. It's just, yeah, it's dark nut. I mean, at least they're only orange dark nuts, right? Good ol... Oh, what? How did I mess that up? I don't know, but I did. I... Yeah, I did that. Nope. Huh. Eh. Huh. Eh. Nope. Huh. Okay. Only one of you left. 
Okay, hey, bombs. Ah, does not push, so I killed everyone for no reason, but I gotta learn somehow. Crap room. <laughs> okay, alright, again, just... I mean, something bwit, but I, I, I don't know, I think I got money. Alright, this is just choo-choo chamber. It's all good. This is not very scary. Check it out, buddy. Hey, got a key? Worth it. What's down here? Passage to... Negativity. The world of sadness welcomes you with open arms. Uh... Or something like that. Alright, just... Yeah, no, it's just me versus HP. Also, you know, any of these will kill me in one shot if they do touch me. I am aware of that. No! And yet, I play in a way that... <laughs> betrays the fact that apparently I am aware of that. See, I don't like that, because now it can, like, unfreeze at any time. It's fine. Alright, money here. There we go. Hey, see money. Alright, going down the stairs. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm now right underneath where the boss is gonna be, probably. Yeah, I, I am going to fight these. They might have a drop. They might have a goodie for me. And so I will do it. Meanwhile, someone's having a bad time. Oh, shoot. Shoot! Like, I don't know, like, I feel like the FDS sound of the boss breathing sounds a lot more pitiable. Like, like, someone, like, it's, like, sick up there or something. I'm just, like, having, like, a real bad time. And I managed to get myself killed. Alright. Alright, so I'm doing this path this time. Manhandla, part two. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's what I was hoping to happen last time. Uh, and I got basically my bomb refunded. Wow. Uh, more dark nuts, man. Alright. Well, I'm just walking into dark nuts. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I've never been here, right? That's accurate. Alright. This is the A map. After the E map, this is A land. Kill the wrong one, huh? All right, what's up here? This ain't free. I shocked that I didn't get got there. there uh, no, I was. Ah, oh, man. All right, I mean, this is a really cramped little area. Hey, I was for the map. Hey, welcome to the A town. The town of A. So, this is really stupid. <laughs> All right, okay. Um Yeah. After E, it's A. That's how it works. All right, so I haven't been down here. Complete that letter. Oh. Okay, well, this is a clear hint that, you know, you want to bomb into here from over on the side. But also, we might want to bomb here and go inside. I didn't bomb. What happened? Okay! Alright! Why not? So, d don't bother bombing, just keep walking and phase through the place. Uh, and here's where you get the whistle of all things, huh? Oh, but I don't want to die, please. 
the bats are scary. So, very early whistle, huh? Giving that... I don't know if that's a conscious choice to make sure you get a gift that you can't really use, <laughs> for lack of a better word. That is wild. Okay, well, that's just a thing you can do. Alright, well, I'm hoping for hearts. I'm gonna get the key that I can get. Free key, like, I'll take it. Assuming I live, but... I probably will. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. I don't like this. Alright, well, nothing really left other than going for the boss, so... So I did both lower rows, right? I did. What if I play the whistle now with pole voice? Yeah. Ooh, the sound is nicer. Yeah, I don't care. What? Wait, no, wait. How did that... Nah, really, really, really... Oh my god. Alright. I still need to clear this room in case there is a drop. There could be. I was hoping to have beams. I don't have beams. So... I'm just gonna have to do this manually. It's fine. I'm just a little annoyed at myself. God damn, I cannot play this game, I swear. Ugh. Like, you wouldn't think there would be any- <laughs> For bombs, great, alright. Cool. Who's the- WHAT?! <laughs> really?! Well, I can't really fire you now, can I? Fireman you, I mean. I mean, that seems to be the strat, but with the stats I have, like, once the head gets out, this is gonna be problems. Oh, well, ooh. Oh, I mean, and I walked right into it. With the beam and everything. No, I, yeah, no, I, yeah. Just give me one heart at some point in the dungeon so I can have beams, like, one heart. I killed so many mummies. Like, I'm aware that I'm turning, like, I press the button, but then I press the arrow to move out, but there's a bit of a delay after you press the button, and he shoots in the direction, like, the new direction I'm facing. Oh my gosh! That is annoying. Yeah, that, that wasn't gonna hit anything. <laughs> nice hit there. Gotta be hitting something. Great. Alright. So, I know... Ah, uh, well, I lied. I was about to say, I know that the fireballs only come from the... Dead Gleok, but that was demonstrably false right there, so that's cool. Just 
keep your cool. Stay calm and relax. Don't hit the body. The body is invincible. Here we go. Uh, I guess the heart container appeared right where I was because I just suddenly had one more heart. Ah! Yeah, like, these are all enemies. I'm used to having at least white sword. All of this with blue sword is just slightly nightmarish. Just on the edge of being an absolute nightmare. All right, and here we get the blue parade waiting you. It's not just one enemy, it's every enemy. I, honestly, I feel like my priority next time, now that I have five heart, explore the world and desperately try to find the white sword. Uh, we're going to go basically where stuff used to be and see what they're replaced with and uh, meanwhile also burning and buying new things like we're just gonna I need the white sword before I can do anything more I feel like is that enough hearts I forget if it's five or six well I know there's gonna be at least also three uh, hearts out in the, uh, not three more than that right five hearts out in the open something like that